<clears throat> hello everyone so welcome to this uh, dashboard designing and reporting techniques course today it is session 3 okay but today's topic will be completely on the designing part okay the basic designing part what are necessary things you'll have to take care before designing your dashboard so today's topic is very simple it will be not so very technical, but very interesting. I'll show you what you'll be learning today. And then one by one, I will start working on it. Okay. So let's go to this folder. And again, people, if you find the black screen, please inform me immediately. Okay. Right. So we have working with colors and themes. Then we have working with icons, working with shapes, and working with text. Okay, all right. So first we'll go with how to work with text. Let me open this file. As I told you, today's topic is very simple, but very much important if you want to become a very good dashboard designing expert. Okay, all right. So first thing is, you can see here, I have this. Okay, I have this fonts. First of all, let's understand about the fonts. Whenever I create any dashboards, okay, fonts play a very important role. Why? Because whenever I'm actually trying to give some information, whenever I'm trying to give some information, what happens? The text part is actually important because that is what we'll be typing and we'll be reading. Now, if you see this text, this is a normal text, right? It's a normal text. If you want to change the font of it, so if you go here, I have this font, correct? We all know this, how to do this. If you go here, I have so many different fonts. But one major mistake many of them actually do is, they will start, you know, using any fonts they want. See now, I've used some font here. It says, say, MSS, MT, Pro, Black or something. Okay. Now the same font, if I actually give this file to you, if the font is there in your system, then it will work. Otherwise, it will change to some default font. So whatever design you have done, everything is done. Because you think that, okay, this design, whatever is there, it is very nice. I can use this design. So what happens if you're using this, you know, this font style? If I send it to someone else, let's say I'm sending this to client. The font is not there then the entire font will take some default fonts. Then what should I do to select the font? Okay, first thing I'll tell you, select some common fonts. The very common fonts are, I'll tell you, I'll just type here, okay, Arial. We have a family of fonts. You know, what is this family of fonts? Family of fonts means, if you go here, if you click on this, we have this Arial. If you go just scroll down see we have this aerial black aerial narrow so like this you know if you take one font there will be a family of fonts usually we take this aerial so this is very commonly used font because that is there directly by default in the microsoft itself otherwise we use verdana this is also a common font and then we use Times New Row. You can't we use any other fonts. You can use any fonts. Now say, for example, my client actually, you know, you have seen, you know, some clients actually use their own fonts. Let's say my client has got this font and he wants the entire dashboard to be in this font. Your dashboard should have a uniform font. What is uniform? If I use Arial, try to use Arial throughout. Don't use one Arial, then one Times New Roman, or something which is batch. Now, what if the client, you know, is asking for this uh, particular font? He wants this font only. Then you can send a request saying that, please send that font. Okay. So he will have a font. And what you can do is, you can go to this explorer here so if you go here 
say i'll go to this <coughs> c drive and then we'll go to this windows c drive windows can you see that we have this fonts double click on this fonts we get the font folder take that particular file so it will be dot ttf or something okay that uh, it's a font uh, uh, file name extension see so here all these fonts you can see here i have because i do a lot of designings so i've kept so many fonts various different fonts here but i cannot use all these fonts to all the dashboards because some of the fonts will not be available for others okay so now if you see here so you have so many fonts here not everyone see i use canada i lot of you know, create a lot of uh, you know local language posters so i'll be using these fonts here but you might not be having that if i send that to you did not work it will give some junk characters understood so go to c drive in that we have this windows go to font and copy and paste the font whatever is there and suppose if you have created one nice you know you selected one nice font you want others also to use the same font you should send that font so that they will actually copy and paste that in this folder so that they'll get that particular font understood about the fonts All right so i'll not go in depth of this very simple you have to do this the beginning only so that uh, you know when you send your dashboard to someone with the font what i have selected that should be there in this system otherwise try to use these three fonts okay All right now here i have three different type of formatting what i have done with the fonts usually when we create some dashboard i want a title i'll take that in a shape some people what they do they'll take the font in cell like this say so oh, here let me just copy this what they do is they'll go here and they'll put that somewhere in the cell like this i can change this i'll go here see arial then i'll say that like this if you do like this you cannot shift anywhere you want you cannot shift this what should i do take a shape say insert here i have this shape i took this text then here i'll take i'll type this see i just typed now this is not looking like a title correct i want to increase the font so what i'll do i'll go here i'll increase the font size see can you see that what is the advantage of it you can move it anywhere you want like this. see anywhere you want you can keep so that is the advantage now right now here you can see that i have typed something here i want some more text here say i want the bracket ideas so if you want to do something like this every time i go and i keep changing the design so what i'll do is i will you know take this shape here we have this formula bar understand what i'm doing see i'll select this shape see don't select inside like this go here and select the border like this so that the shape is selected in the formula bar say equals and select this enter understood i just referred it like a formula now i'll try to increase the font size and change this to arial select this and say arial and then let me increase this to 30 make it bold or any formatting now i don't have to do anything here so what i'll do i'll go here open bracket see i change the text in cell not in the shape now you see this is just i'm giving some example so how this can be used in a dashboard that we'll study the next session i'll create a neat dashboard and i'll show you okay understood so now let me tell you so this is a normal font this is not a referred uh, you know but text here directly i've typed here so if you think i just want only the normal font you can use this suppose you think that i want to give borders so how did i do this it's very simple see here i just took one shape like this go to this shape format here you can see that shape fill shape fill what it will do it will give me some colors here like this let me go and select any of the colors see it will cover like this so this is shape fill and this is shape outline now if you go here i have filled this and if you think i want to change the font color can you see that here i have this text fill i will click on this white color see so i want just a border then go here say no fill and then give the border 
and then here I can change the font to any color. <coughs> Understood? So this is how actually you can format your shape with the text. Right. Let's go to next one. So here I have the reference just now I told you, right? So here what I've done, can you see that I have this report one, report two, and report three. If I go here and try to change this, you just see, I'll say region, see, say state and say city. Okay. Again, it's a very simple thing. How did I do this formatting? I'll go to this insert and I'll say shape. I just took the shape like this. Okay. And then here I have the shape styles. I will change this to, I'll, you know, apply. Immediately I can apply. Let's say I'll apply this. See, what apply. Then I'll go to this formula bar. Equals and I'm selecting this. See. Okay. Now I'll try to format this. Select. I'll make it middle align, center align. I'll take this Arial. Then I'll increase the font. Something like this. Let me just make it as 28. Okay. Hold. If you think I want to change the color, just check that. If your fill color is dark, make your font light color. If your fill is light color, make your font dark color. I'll go here. I will change this to white color. See? Right? Now you just see, if you want to make a copy of it, some people, what they do, they'll say Control c Control v But what usually I do is, I'll hold Control and drag it to make a copy of it. But when I'm actually dragging, can you see that it is moving here and there? Hold shift, control and shift to see it will be the same line. So here, if you want, you can go. Hold shift and control and then drag it. See, done. Again, shift, control, done. Okay. I'll tell you how to align the shape as well later. Let me select this. See here, some people, what they do, again, they'll go here, they'll say equals and they'll select this. You don't have to do that. Already there is a reference. Just observe this. I'll change this to 5 because I know that this is C4, this is C5, right? I'll say enter, see? When I say enter, what happened? The format is gone. The format is gone. So what I'll do, I again don't have to go here and do all these stuffs. What I'll do, select this shape. Control Shift C. Control Shift C. What Control C will do? Control C will copy the shape. But when I say Control Shift C, what it will do is it will copy the format. Like what we have this paint, this one, right? The format painter. So control shift C and then select this control shift V. Control shift C, copy the format. Control shift V, paste the format. Done. See? Now I'll go here. I will say this is C6. See? Click on the link. Got it? All right. Next, we have something called as word format. Can you see that different, different styles here? Can you see here? So this is one style, this is one style, this is one style. There are so many various different styles. You can do this even if you don't have the knowledge of graphics. Can you see that one text, whatever I've taken, one shape that is there with various different styles. How to do that? Let me tell you. I'll just copy this shape. Control and I'll just take a new sheet. I'll be sending this file to you. I'll just paste this. Okay. And one more thing, people always try to hide these grid lines. Okay. So that you know it will not disturb you. Go to view and say grid lines. Remove these grid lines. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'll have a plain background which will make me look, say, work, you know, easily. Let me go here. I'll say Control Shift and I'll drag it like this. Make a copy of it. Here, if you go to the shape format, can you see this word art style? There are so many various different styles. Say, for example, I want something like this. See, just click on that. Can you see that? Let me go here. I'll just make a copy of it. Control shift and drag. That's all. See, if you want something like this. So you can go and you can just apply on this. You'll get immediately the text format. All right. Now, suppose if you think I want to give some effects. Say here, I have this text effects. These are all predefined actually. If you think I want to get some text effects, go here. See, I have the shadow. If you think you want to use some shadow, can you see that? The shadow, can you see that? Yeah, let me apply one shadow here. So shadow, apply a shadow. If you're not happy with this shadow, 
then I'll go here to this. And here I have this shadow options. Select on this, we'll get the shadow option. Now here you can see that there are so many options. You can just try out, see. Just you have to explore, okay? See here. Which angle you want, distance. Understood? For every text effects here, we have, you know, those kind of things, say reflection. Reflection is very nice, actually. Can you see that there is some reflection here? That is predefined. So if you think you want to give reflection, I'll go here, say, if you just move your cursor, see, I'll just move my cursor like this. Can you see that? There is a reflection here. So you can go and explore all these effects. Say, I want some glow. Can you see that? See? Like a movie title. How much time it took within few seconds? Right? Do you think you need to have a very good graphic designing skills? And all? Nothing. Everything is available here, predefined. Go select here and then you can do a lot of things here. Okay. After this, we have something called as bevel. Bevel means, you know, that is like a 3D embossed kind of thing. Say, I'll go here. Can you see that? I'll just select this. Can you see? Got changed. So if you think you want to give something like this, you can go here. There are so many options here. Say this one. See? If you give that yellowish color, is something like a golden uh, this thing. Let me go and change the font color. You can change the font color as well. Can you see that? KGF font. KGF right. Yeah. Right. Understood. So for this, we don't have to be graphic designer. So this is what we actually do: the, the dashboard designing, the fonts. I'll show you how to. Today, what you're learning is just bits and pieces, what all you can do. But I'll tell you how to actually do this, you know, the very good uh, dashboards, dashboard designing. Okay. All right. So likewise, just go and explore all this. There are so many options here. Say here we have this, uh, you know, effects. So if you think that I want to have this 3D rotations, say sometimes what will happen, see, something like a slant kind of thing or something. Just move your cursor here and see, it will give me so many various different options. See. See, take some fire images and all, put some fires there. It look like a movie type. Understood? How we can actually use this word art. So if you want to have a curve kind of fonts, then you can go here. We have more other options. Say transform, see? Like this. Select. And if I just try to reduce this, see? A curve. Suppose if you think still you want to have that curve, you have this yellow color here. See, we have more text here. We can uh, see that we can have a circle kind of thing, or you can go here and you can just use this transform. There are so many other options. See, like this. See, understood. Okay, so this is word art styles. You can try to explore this. Try to explore this. Otherwise, if you go and click on this, there are so many options here in this format shape. So here we have, say, for shadow, reflection, all these are available here. You can right. Okay. All right. Let me close this. Next. So this text effect, just now I told you, right? This text effect. So you can go, you can try this text effect. Okay. Understood. Was it interesting, people? Right. People online, how was it? How was this part? People, how was this topic? Quickly, I don't want, uh, you know, big uh, statement, just one word. Okay, right. Now, after this, okay, stop, stop, stop now. We'll go to shapes. Okay, now let me open this. Now we'll work on a lot of things, a lot of interesting things I'll show you. Right. You can see this. These are some different shapes. These shapes, whatever you see, these are all very basic shapes. Okay. So here I have this rounded rectangle. If you don't know the names, don't worry. Click on this. You can see the rectangle. See? 32 points. Click on this. Say, ribbon. 
tilted up four or something. Here we have this waves, double wave. How to create this? I have not created this. It is already available. And you have already explored. Okay. Let's go here. Go to this insert. Let me take a new sheet. Okay. New workbook. Control N. Taking a new workbook. Here I have this insert shapes. Click on this. Here I have so many shapes. I can use any of these shapes. Say I'll go here. Say I have this text, the text box. And here you can go and see this thing. Rectangle, circle, and everything is there. All the shapes are available here. Whichever shape you think that, you know, it is relevant. We can just go here and click on that. Say, for example, I want something like this. Just drag it. Okay. So any shapes, if you think you want to insert, just go here, say insert and explore these shapes. So many shapes are there. You can go and you can explore this and try to insert. So I use this one, double wave, right? This one. For some of the shapes, you can see there are some yellow dots here. We can change, this. see? If you move your cursor here, see? Now let me just use this. You can see that? The depth of the waves. Right? So for most of the shapes, there will be that yellow color. Let me insert some more. Let's say I have this shape. Can you see that? I want to make this something like a capsule. See? You can reduce this. Okay. All right. Next. The next one we have shape group. You have seen many shapes, right? We saw the shapes. Go and search for this shape. Do I have this shape? This kind of shape? You will not get this shape. Do you have this kind of shape? We saw one shape that is, uh, you know, only this one. See? But uh, do I have this shape? I want something like this. Do I have? No, I don't have. Can I say this? Something like the award. Can you see that there is one uh, reflection and things like that? So I want to do some designs like this. So for this, what I'll do, see here, it is not that I have taken uh, only one shape. There are multiple shapes here. I have grouped it. I can group it. How to do this? Let me show you. I'll go here. And I've taken one rectangle. Okay, then what I did, I'll go to insert shapes. Here, can you see this? We have this. What is the name of that flow chart or data? Something okay. I just took this shape, I use this. Or I'll do one thing insert. We'll take this one. What is that? Parallelogram. Okay, this one we'll take because we get this yellow mark here. We can now, you know, adjust this. Now, I'll keep it here like this. I need to have this and this same, uh, you know, same size actually. So what I'll do, I'll select this, control one. You make a note of this one shortcut key. Control one is a shortcut key, which will help you in formatting anything in Excel. Control one. Anything you want to format, chart, shape, cell, anything, just say control one. See, I'll get the pan, the formatting pan. You can see that here, I have this one uh, button here. I'll click on the size and properties. Click on this size. You can see that it says height 2.65. Let me make it as 3 and say enter. Can you see that? Got changed. I'll select this and I'll say 3. Done. Okay. Now the height of these two shapes are same. Hold shift and select this. I'm selecting these two. In this shape format, I have this align. Click on this. I'll say align top. See? About what align together. Now click on this. You just see how much you want to bend like this. Okay. And I will select these two shapes by holding shift. Go to this shape outline and say no outline. 
right? Now let me select this and select this. Right click and say group. Control G is the shortcut key. Control G, group C. Let me go to this PowerPoint. Why are we going to this PowerPoint? I'll tell you. Go to this PowerPoint. Let me just delete this. Here also we have this insert. You can see that I have this um, shapes. Here also we have shapes. Same shape. Can you see that? The same shape. I'll take this rectangle. Okay. And what did I do? What was the other shape I took? I'll go here. I'll take this shape and parallelogram. Again, I'm taking this. Okay. Now here I'll say right click and say format shape. Here I have this size. I'll say three as my height and select this shape and I'll say three. I can select together just to make you people understand I'm just doing this one by one. I'll keep it here like this and again shape format. I'll then see same options, right? Excel and PowerPoint, both are same. I'll say top align, done. Okay, select this. I will go here and remove the, this also, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, you might be thinking, why did we come to this uh, PowerPoint? Select this, shape format, okay. You can see this, I have this merge shapes. I'll go here and I'll say union. Click on union, done. I will copy this. I'll go back to this Excel. I'll paste it. Can you see this? Now both are same, sir. What is the difference? I'll tell you. This is one shape. But can you see this? This option is not there in Excel. It's the only drawback. Otherwise, we could have done here. All the options are there. If you think I want to do something like this, go here and try to do this in PowerPoint, copy and paste. Same options are available. Okay. Right. Now, let me go back to this shape. So, we had one more. Uh, this one, right. This one. Here also what I have done. See, I have taken this shape and one more shape. This rounded the rectangle. Combined it. Grouped it. Let's do this. I will go here and I will say insert shape quickly. I will just take that. Where is that? Okay, this one. Okay. I removed the outline. Usually, you know, I should remove the outline so that uh, if I have different shapes, it will not come to know. And then I took this uh, insert and here I will take this rounded rectangle. I kept it here like this. I changed the color to white. Okay, and I grouped it, remove outline, select, right click and say, see, I got this. But you know what happens? If you go here, I can select this. Now what I'll do, let me copy this. Okay, go to PowerPoint and I'll paste it. We can do that from uh, PowerPoint to Excel, from Excel to PowerPoint. We can do it. Can you see this? It is still, you know, a grouped shape. Right click, I'll say ungroup. Okay. So why did we come here? See, I'll show you one more interesting thing. Now here, I'll not say union. I'm selecting this. Go to this format shape, that is shape format. Can you see this merge shape? Here I say union. Union means it will combine. Here I have this so many other options. Say combine. What happened? I'll do, I'll change the color, you know. It is trying to change the color. Select this. So what happens, it'll, it'll uh, you know, take the color of that shape actually. Because it was white, it was taking white. See, union, it'll get union. That is, it'll combine. Say, go here, say combine, fragment. Okay, there are various different options. Go and select this. I'll go here, I'll say fragment. See this. Can you see this? Can you see the shape? That is one single shape like this. Okay. I want one more shape to actually, you know, cut that this part. Let's go here. Insert shape. See? Okay. 
select this merge say fragment combine i'll say Okay, see, now I'll select this. It will work exactly like the shape what we have. I'll go here, say no outline. Now I'll say control C, go to this Excel sheet. Control. See, hide the grid. Let's see. We can change the color, whichever color you want. I'll go here, shape format, and I'll change the color, whichever color I want. Got it? Very simple. If you think I want to group it, you can group that in Excel itself. You want to, you know, make one separate shape itself. However you want, you can do that. You can go to PowerPoint and you can write. Okay? Understood? Right. Next, shape edit. Can you see this? Have you ever thought that we can do this in Excel? Have you ever thought we can do this in Excel? So this will be your assignment. I want you to do something like this. But I'll tell you how to do this. Here, this is a logo, right? Which company logo it is? Everyone knows, right? So people, what they do, if you want to do a logo, usually we go to, uh, you know, Corel Draw or Photoshop or something. See, I did this in Excel. It's, it's a shape, actually. We can do something like this. What is this? This one? This one? This one, smartphone, yeah. By seeing that, you can understand some something I tried actually. It's a mobile, right? Okay. So what is this? Laptop. I can convey this. I mean, uh, I'm trying to show that with some shapes. But I'm making you guys understand, right? It's a laptop. Okay. What is this? Coffee mug, right? So whatever shapes we actually do, people should understand. Now, if you see this, you might think, oh, this is very advanced. Wow, this guy has done, you know, his graphic designer, so he has done nothing like that. I'll tell you how to do this. Okay. First, we'll see how to make this logo. Very simple. I'll go here. Go to this insert. Okay, let me copy this. We'll take a new sheet itself. Okay, let's not uh, go here. I'll paste this logo. How to do this? Let me just tell you. If you're not comfortable with very small, just you can increase this like this. Go to insert, shape. You know, here I have one shape here like this. Preform. Okay. I'll click on this. You just see, I have this one point here. I'll click somewhere here. And one more point here. Here and say here. Stop. My logo is done. This has to be curved. So this would end something. It's not correct. I'll show you how to do. What you do is just select this. Go to this shape format. Here I have this edit shape. Okay, click on this. Can you see this? I have this edit points. Click on this. See, I'll get some points. Select any of these points and I can drag this like this. Can you see that? I'll select here. Keep it like this. Or I'll just remove, hold control and click on this. The point is deleted. Let me just try again. Select here. You need to have a lot of patience, but I'll not go with uh, perfection now because uh, we don't have time. But I'm just telling you how we can actually do it. Let me remove this. You can trace it like this. Okay, so we can do perfectly, but uh, you know, since we have a lot of other things to learn, see, we can do that. We can go here, right click, and we'll get the points. We can keep working on that. We can drag it like this. We can, you know, do something like that. All right, let me go back. Let's do this mobile. Okay, so how to do this mobile? I'll tell you. Let me take one more new sheet, grid line C, go to insert, shape. I have taken this rounded rectangle like this and I'll try to adjust. See how quickly we can do this. Okay. See, done. 
Then what I did, I gave a black color for this. I'll remove the outline. Then hold control shift, I made one more copy of it. I will make it white color. Done. Keep it on this and reduce this. That's not over. iPhone. Whatever you want, iPhone 15, 16, 17, whatever you want. Right? Now, after this, I want one small, uh, you know, say, kind of speaker or something like this. So, same shape, control shift. I just dragged it. Now, I'll go here and I'll try to, you know, right click, say, format shape. Here, I'll go to this fill. Can you see this pattern fill? Click on this pattern fill. I have a lot of patterns here. Okay. So, I will go here. I'll make it black color. Can you see that? Then I took something like this. Okay. Reduce this. Make it like a pin like this. And I kept it like this. Okay. Same thing. I'll just drag and drop here like this. If you want to make it white color, you can make it. And then insert. I took one circle here. Click on this. Take it, put it here. Apply black color. Over. Mobile manufactured with it. Right? People, you might think, why are we actually learning all this? I'm telling you this because when you actually create a dashboard, tomorrow you'll understand. When you when we come to this new sessions, that is how to create the dashboard, sir. You should have a control on the shapes. You can do wonderful dashboard section. Okay, if you know all these things, if you are doing all these kind of designs, uh, then your dashboard, I'll show you, you know, many designs, I'll tell you how to actually create a very innovative, creative kind of dashboards. Okay, right. Now, let's go and see this one. You know, you don't have a shape like this, but how to do this? Let me tell you. Within few seconds, we can do. So what I did, I'll go here, insert, and here we have something called as icon. Okay. So here I have hundreds of icons. I'll tell you what all things we can do with these icons. See, can you see this? I just took this and I'll say insert. Quickly, we'll do this. That is that. Did I insert? See. Selected and say insert. I just drag it like this. But I'll go to this insert shape. And we have that shape here somewhere. We have that here. See this one. I just took this and I'll rotate it. Okay. Select. I will put this white color and I'll make the outline. Okay. Now, how to do this? I you don't have that shape yet. So what I'll do? I'll go to insert and I'll say there is that free form. Click here, 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 and here. Done. You can hold control, scroll by this one. Uh, you know the wheel, whatever is there, mouse, and uh, we can zoom that. Edit shape. So quickly we'll edit. I'll just remove this point. And I'll go here, remove this, and I'll try to adjust the shape like this. Okay, so I'm not going with the perfection here. I'm just telling you, have some patience and you can work on that. Okay, done. Now I'll bring that here and I'll keep it. Now you don't have to format it again. Select this, Control Shift C, 
control shift b now drag it now to make it reverse don't worry for that also we have this rotate go to the shape format rotate and flip it see flip it. now what about this don't worry so we have this rectangle shape we are taken right i'll take this only let me take this only i'll keep it here control shift b that's it reduce this keep it here try to align this select and say align say sorry center yeah see done same thing i did this coffee mug so this is a picture actually Just took this let me put it here so what i did i'll go your shape i'll take this Use usually for icons and all we have this black color only. So I'll just go here. See, okay. Then here we have this cup base. You can reduce this and keep it like this. Have border. Let me remove the border. Let me select this. Remove border. See. If you want you can reduce this. Go here. Like this. What about this one? Don't worry. That also is available. Go to shape. You can see this we have this uh, this one i don't know what they call it as hello or something like that i don't know the names actually reduce this control shift c control shift b okay keep it here and try to adjust this how to do this again you can go here Quickly, I'll just take the shapes, preform, something like this. Right click, say edit points, keep one point here. Okay, so this point I'll remove. Okay, again, control shift V, drag and reduce this. Oh. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. Okay. So now this Mickey Mouse, whatever is there, okay. No try it. Take it as an assignment or anything, whatever. Okay. This will actually give you some control on the shapes. Sir. I'm not uh, telling you to play games and all those things. If you have control on these shapes, I'll tell you, you can do a lot of things. Still, so many things are there. We'll learn that when you come to this dashboard designing. 3D shapes. Can you say this? I have some shapes here like this. So sometimes, suppose if you think I want to make some shapes like this. Okay. So in some of the dashboards, actually, we have some uh, 3D reports and all. So if you want to do, you can do something like this. So here, you don't have to uh, you know, bother about how actually we can do all this. I'll tell you how to do this in a very simple way. Let's go here. I'll just try to insert one shape. Okay. So quickly, I'll take one shape like this. Right. I have this format. You can see that. You can go here. You can do all these things. Let's go to this. Uh, where is that? See? 3D formats. Directly, you can go here to 3D formats. Go here. We have all uh, the predefined options available. Just click on this thing. Remember that for text also we had this bubble and all. So you can go here. You can uh, try to you know increase the width. Can you see? Can you see that? Yeah. You can change the color to this golden color or something. It looks something like this. golden biscuit. Right. All right. So let me take one more shape. Now, if you think you want to reset, you can just scroll down. Here we'll have that reset, say reset. Otherwise, we'll take a new shape itself. I'll take this. Okay. And then here we have this 3D rotation. Click on this. Can you see this? I have so many options. I just click on this one. Okay. So here. See, it's rotated. But what I'll do, here I have this format. 
here I have something called as depth. Let me increase this depth to 50 point. See? That's all. Done? Right. Now I want to put some text on this so that it looks like slant on that. Okay. So for that also, we'll go to this insert shape. Let me take this shape. I'll just say 75%. And then I'll keep it here like this. Okay, don't worry. I'll change this to Arial Black and we'll increase the font. And then here, what I'll do is, you can see this 3D rotation, right? I will take the same, you know, whatever is there here or we can take any of this. Let's say I want to take some flat or something, see? It'll be flat. It's not readable. So what I'll do, I'll go here. I'll see if anything is, see? It looks like this. Or if you think there is one more, say this one, we'll try this. Anything else is there? You just go and try any of this. Okay, we'll try this. Let's change the color to from a light blue. See. So if you want to have one link, I'll go here, say 75%. Select this equals. And I'll select this. Change the font color. Font style. I've taken this icons here. These are all icons and some text here. So what I did for icons, I'll go to this insert and I'll say icons. So here we can take any of these icons. I will say I want analytics. And then I took, you know, some of the icons here like this. Let's say I'll take this icon of insert. Okay. I'm keeping here. But this is not looking that, you know, like a flat kind of thing. See the one which is turning. So what I'll do, I'll go here and I'll click the same thing here. See, you can see that it got turned exactly with the angle like this. And I'll change the font. You know, I can change the color of this. Let's say I'll change this to somewhere which is equivalent to blue color like this. See? Let me add one more icon. Go here, say icons. And let's take, say we'll take this. Okay. Insert. Now, again, you don't have to go and keep formatting. Select this, Control Shift C, and say Control Shift V. See? Understood how we can actually use this 3D shapes and all? You can have one text here, any text. So, what I've done is I've taken one text here, rotated, same thing, 3D rotate, and I've given the text and link. That's all. See? If I go here and change this, say, 2023, or say we'll say 2022 profits. Can I see that? It's changing. So I'll go here, I'll say 80%. Can I see? And here also I've just taken one uh, text and I've linked it here. So anything you change here, that will get changed. So this is actually in the dashboard also we do so that it becomes dynamic. Okay, All right. Let me close this. Let's close this as well. All right, so people, meanwhile, just take one minute and tell me how was this part of the session. Quickly, I'll just give one minute. Meanwhile, I'll just open this icons. Quickly. How was it? This part, interesting. Boring. All right. Good. All right. Now listen. I'm creating a dashboard. Okay. So here, let me just show you. Can you see this? Now you understood how all we can actually use this icon, shapes and all. Isn't it looking good? Isn't it good if you use this kind of things in your dashboard? So how to do these things, I'll tell you. 
See, I have this icon. So I've just inserted it. How to insert this? I've not created it. So go to this insert. And here I have this icons. You can see there are so many icons. Just now we saw, right? You can go to this icons here. You can type, say, for example, I want for analytics. Or here you can see that, see, you're working on some, uh, you know, food and drinks, some uh, project. You can get all the icons here. Say, occupations, home tabs. See, one click on this, see. Analytics, click on this. So all these charts and things, if you want any icons, you can go here and you can insert. So if you see, I've just tried to insert a few things. You can go, you can search there, you'll get all this. And the best part is you can change the colors, like the font color, what we change, the shape color, see? You can change it to any color like this. Okay, so you can also give the line color as well. Like this. You can change it to any color. Right. I have cartoon people like this. See? This one. See? See? How did I do this? You go to this. Icons. So sometimes you actually, you know, create some dashboard and you want some uh, images or something. So I'll go here. See? We have this very exact cartoon people. Here I can do so many things actually. I'll show you. You know, you'll get that only faces, only body. See? You can see that I have these characters. You can go and you can choose the characters. See? Okay. All these characters. Let's say I want half characters. That is only half of the characters. Say head. That's what I did. Say. I let me take this. Okay, let me take this as well. Say insert. Just say insert. See, I got this. Okay, so same thing. What I did, I took this body and go to this. Where is that rotate? I'll say flip. See, this also I'll say rotate and say, see. Any shape you can take, say, remove this, put it here like this. <coughs> Go back. Go to this icons again. There are so many things. You explore it, people. Okay. Please explore. You'll get a lot of ideas, a lot of things, a lot of designs you can do. You don't have to be expert. I told you, you don't have to be expert in... Uh, any of the photo editing tools. See? Decorations, you can uh, select all this. So anything you can actually go and you can insert, say, accessories. You can put all these kind of things, right? You have seen in mobile, we have the face apps or something, right? So like that. We can do this. Okay? So try it with these things. If you think, uh, you know, you want to have some fun with the, some uh, uh, dashboards are there. Some of the dashboards are there where you want to show some uh, population, occupation, things like that, you can use this thing. You can take this and you can add your photo also here. That also you can do. You can make your friend's cartoon and all and you can do it. Okay. All right. Similarly, say I have this images. Okay. So here I can uh, insert the images. Let me see. So it will get all the images here. So you can go and you can insert the image. So it is actually, you know, very, um, even uh, um, the quality is good actually, see? See this? You can use this image. And best part is, these are all copyright free. You can use it. If you go to Google and search, you know, someone uh, will say that, see, this is my image. It's not like that because this will come with the Microsoft itself. Okay, so you can go here. You can uh, insert any image here. So I'll go here. I can insert the images. Go to images. And go and search for the images as well. Say, for example, I'll go to industry. See? Thousands of images are there. You don't have to bother. Say outdoor. So you can go and you can click on this. See? So for this, we go, we'll search for image and that quality is not good. We can search image here. 
let's go here say cut out people say i'm actually trying to work on some dashboard or some thumbnails we create you've seen that uh, you know some uh, background uh, without background some images sh should be taken say i'll go here let me take some image okay let me take this see high quality image something like this See, transparent so you can use this if you go here i just use that here if i close that have images here see these are all some images which i try to insert then i have this uh where is that cut out people see i'll remove the grid lines so that it's good see right okay so next we have the stickers very high quality stickers are there if you want to you know create some greetings or something you can do that also or in some of your dashboards if you think that i want to insert anything you can go here and you can insert that as well let me just show you i'll take a new excel sheet so go to this insert icons go to stickers thousands of stickers are there very interesting stickers see just click on this categories See, for kids and all, you know, it will be very interesting if you actually show this kind of thing, right? You can insert this in your dashboard also. Some see, not always it means working on only sales or profit dashboard, right? Sales dashboard, profit dashboard, or something for kids also. There will be some uh, kind of dashboards in schools and all they do the reports and all. So, there we can use these kind of things, okay? All right, say illustrations. This is very interesting actually suppose if you think that i want to create some uh, greetings for my new year or something see i have all this a uh, background you can go here and get all this background very nice uh, greetings also you can create let me just show you in this excel sheet i just try to create illustration see i just use this so if you think you want to add some text you can go here you can put one text here so i'll say Happy New Year 2024. Anyways, I had to wish you people. So I'll wish through this greeting. Happy New Year. Bold. Right. Say in the font style, whatever font you want. Let me take this. Let's not waste much time. See? I can go here, I can match the colors and things like that here. Let me use some colors. See. Or I can select, let me give some gray colors. See. Happy New Year to all of you. It is great. Yeah. Okay. So likewise, see people, all these things are available in Excel itself. People unnecessarily they'll go search, you know, so many things they'll search, but they're not able to do a proper uh, design. So this is what happens. Okay. Right. Understood. So you can go, you can go to this icons and you can insert a lot of interesting things you can, but you have to explore. Okay. Right. So let me close this. Let's save this so that I just use this happy new year. So that I don't have to wish again. You can that. Right. So there is one more topic that is colors and themes. So people, this is very, very important because whatever we saw now, it was like, you know, the images, icons and all. Images. There is one more actually. Let me just finish that quickly. I'll just show you that and then we'll go to this themes. Say, we have seen so many images, icons and things like that. But in Excel, okay, people, that's what I told you. In 365, you have so many hundreds of things. All these are available in 365 only, or you have to take 2016 and above versions. Okay. Now, if you go here, this icons we did, shapes, and things like that, we'll work on the smart art later because uh, it's for infographics. I'll go to this 3D model. Okay. Say in this device, let me just go here and see. Okay. Now, this 3D model we say stock 3D models. We have animated 3D models. Let's go here and check this 
will create one Jurassic Park there. See, select this, insert. This can be used in Excel dashboard also. Just observe this. Can you see that? Right. What is the advantage of this C? See? You can insert so many 3D objects. You can work on some projects. So if any of, uh, you know, what did I select? 3D models. So many 3D models are there. So you can go here, say, for example, you are working on some uh, science projects. Okay, you can go here, say, Robert. You go here, click on this, see? Let me select one. Let's say I'll select this. See, and it's a 3D. See, we can use this in our dashboards. Suppose if you think you want to make your dashboard more interesting, you can go here. So many things are there. Say for education, we have okay emojis. We have all these emojis in uh, WhatsApp and all. We use that emojis, right? So like that, you have this 3D emojis. See. See, we can put it in however we want like this. Okay, so you can select here. You can you have so many 3D models there. You can go and you can edit. Say, see here. This also you can. Okay. All right. Next, the main thing. Okay. So this is what we'll be working on here afterwards. That is about the colors and themes. Okay, this will not take much time, but this is very important. So all of you, please listen. So here, people can you see this. It's a very simple dashboard what I've created here. A layout, not a dashboard, a layout what I've created. Okay, so here you can see that I have this one uh, layout. I'll tell you why I have created this. So here you can see I have one more layout similar to that. And here I have one more. Here I have the shapes. Okay, here I have this. Why I have taken this topic, I'll tell you. I have a layout here, right? Let me go here to this page layout. Here I have something called as themes. Let me move my cursor. Can you see that the color is getting changed? If I move my themes, you see, according to the theme, the entire color is getting changed. Let me go here and I'll select the second sheet. Okay. I will select this theme. Can you see any color changes here? Is there any color changes here? Is there any color changes? Color is not changed. Let me go to another page. Go to this theme. Is there any color change here? No. But the first one you can see the colors are getting changed. How? I'll tell you. Most of the people will make some mistake in selecting the colors. Let me open one new one. Okay. Now here, let me quickly create some shape. I'll not take too much uh, shapes here. Let me just take shapes like this. Okay, enough. I'll select this and I'll go here. This is called as color palettes. Okay. Can you see they have some color palettes here? I'm selecting some colors. Let's say I'll select randomly. I'll just go here. Let me select, say, this color. Then I'll select this color. Select this. I'll select this color. And I'll select 
I selected some colors here. Now I'll go here, select this. Here what I'll do, I'll select some of the colors here. Okay. Or sometimes we go to this more colors and we might select something like this. We do that also, right? We can go here, we can select more colors here. Like this. Done. Okay. One I selected from this, say, this palette, this palette what we have, or you can also select from here. And another one I selected from here, right? Now, let me go to this theme. Let me select all this. I'll keep it here. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I'll go here to this page layout. Here, I'll say themes. Now, tell me, which are the shapes where the colors are getting changed? The first row or the second row? Huh? First row, the colors are getting changed, right? Why? Because, let's say, I'll apply this layout. Okay, I'll apply this layout. Can you see this? This color got changed. Now let's go to this. I'll select one of the shapes. And if I click on this, can you see the color palette is changed? Can you see these colors are changed here? But can you see this? This remaining same. Whenever you are creating any dashboard or whenever you are thinking that you are creating some you know shapes or something, try to use these colors or this one. I'm not telling don't use these colors. If you think my dashboard has to change by the colors, I'm designing something. I want to change the entire palette, the color palettes with all these colors. So here I designed three different sheets for you people. Can you see this? Here I can change. So what I've done, I've used these colors. Say I'll go select here, go to the shape. Can you see this? I have used these palettes, the colors here. But if you go to this second page, what I have done, I've tried to use colors from this row. And the third page, what you see, third page, what I have done is, I have customized the colors here, customized colors. So when I customize the colors, how? Say more colors and I've selected here. Whenever I select any colors, from this row, the standard colors, or this one, the more say the more colors. When I change the theme, the colors will not change. So always make sure that you are selecting your colors from this palette. Now the question arises: What if I want to have my own colors, the customized colors, but still I want to change that accordingly? Then what I have to do is, let me go here, say. Say in this case, I've used the customized colors. Let me go here. I say page layout. Can you see this colors? If I click on this, here also I have, you know, a different color. Whatever we have in this theme, same thing we have this colors for these themes. These are the colors. I have customized it. Let me go to the first page. Say here, colors. Here also it is getting changed. These are related to the themes. Can you see this custom? So I'll select this. This is my one standard color. I'll go here, I'll say custom color. Can you see that it's getting changed? So to do this custom color, go here. I have this custom colors. Click on this. You'll get one editable custom colors. So you can go here, choose any of the colors you want, say more colors. Let's say I'll choose blue color like this, light blue. Quickly, I'm just doing. And then I'll say more colors with this green color. I'll take the second color green. Then I'll go here. I'll take more colors. We'll take something like this. And then take some yellow color. Okay, I'm just trying to select some colors here like this. So randomly, I'm selecting these colors. And let me select very pinkish color. Okay. Now you say, I'll say save. You can give a name for this if you want. I'll say, I have a dashboard. I'll say sales dashboard. See? It got changed. 
Now you go to this colors, say custom, and here I'll say. Suppose if you want to change any of these colors, you can do that. So if you want to have your own custom colors, you can go to the colors and then have one custom and then create one custom colors here so that next time if you want to change the colors, you can go ahead and you can change. Now let's go here. I have one chart here. Can you see that? So this chart colors also sometimes it will get changed. You would have seen, right? When I copy this and paste it to another uh, sheet, uh, sorry, another workbook, automatically it will get changed. See, I'll go here. I'll select different themes. See? Can you see that it's getting changed? What some people will do, they'll go here, right click and say format and they'll try to change the color. Say solid color. If I'll go and change this to, let's say I'll select this red color now. Okay. If you go here, say, can you see? All are getting changed. The first one is not getting changed. You got the importance of this. So when you create a dashboard, you should take care of all these things. How to select the colors? I have one option here. See? Can you say this? I want to create something like this. I want to select these colors. How to select exactly the same color? I'll go here. I've seen some people, what they do, they'll go. They'll say, shape format. And here, they'll try to go here and they'll be keep on searching more colors. They'll keep on selecting like this. How can I do this very quickly, accurately, I'll tell you. Say, select this shape, okay? Select all the other shapes, Control C. Go to PowerPoint, just open PowerPoint. And I will paste it, okay? Just paste it, no worries. I'm interested in only these shapes. This anyways image is available in my Excel. Select this shape. Go to the shape format. You have this shape fill. Select. You can you see this? Have this eyedropper. Click on this eyedropper. Click on this color. Over. Select here. Shape fill. Eyedrop. See. Select shape. Eyedropper. Click on this. Select shape. I draw. So this within few seconds. Sorry. Select shape. I draw. Over. See. Now select only this because already that image is there. Where is that? The only drawback is here, we don't have that eyedropper in this, uh, you know, that we don't have. Otherwise, we could have done here only. It's not there. So we have to go to PowerPoint and then we have to import this. Right? So then I can use this for, you know, the colors. And if you think I want this color to be in my template, so I can go here to this uh, page layout, go to this colors and say custom colors. Here I can change these colors. So how to have this color here? Say, for example, I'll go here. Here, I don't have eyedropper. So what should I do for this? Don't worry. I'll tell you that also. See, go to this. I want this color. Okay. Right click. Cancel. Okay. Right click. Format shape. Okay. So here I have the solid fill. Or you can go directly to this also. Shape format. Shape fill. Can you see that more colors? Click on this more colors. Can you see this hexadecimal? Copy this. And then go to this page layout and here I have this colors, custom, say first color, I want the blue color, say more colors and here I will paste it like this, can you see that? So I'll get exactly same color. So I can go select all the hexadecimal, uh, you know, the code and keep pasting there. Your template is there. Isn't it easy? Yeah. Right. Let me also tell you one uh, one thing actually. So here, let me go to the shape format. Here, most of the people actually doesn't know what is this hexadecimal. I'll tell you what it is. 
we have this red, green, and blue RGB colors, what we call it as. This is nothing but the combination of this RGB. Let me make it as zero. I'll go here, say zero, and say zero. When all these are zero, I can see that the hexadecimal is zero. That means it is black color. I'll go here, 255, 255, and say 255, which will take me all F, 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 F. That is white color. So black to white. In middle, we have so many colors, the numbers. I'll go here. I'll make this green as zero, blue as zero. You can see that it is FF and zero, zero, zero. That is red color. Now you can directly go here. I can also type zero, zero, and I'll type FF in the middle and keep that zero. Say enter. You can see that it is green color. Understood? So if you go here, we have the hexadecimal here. So you can adjust something like this as well. So you can give any number here, say, but it should be 0 to 255 only. Nothing more than that. Let's say randomly, I'll say 167. Say 190 and then say 34. See, this is the color. I don't know which color. Randomly, I give some number. I'll go here, I'll say this one also 145. See, this one, I'll reduce this to 78. See, you can see that the hexadecimal is changing. So like that also you can change that. Right. So this is what I have for today. So I just wanted to tell you what all things we should start exploring for, you know, for better, uh, say, uh, the dashboard designing. So let me just see if I have anything else. Okay. So these are the things. So people, I'll send this file to you. All the four files, whatever is there. Try to explore this. Nothing much technical here. It just you have to show your creativity or innovation and things like that. I'll tell you, you can create wonderful dashboards. So in the next session, I'll tell you how actually you can use all these shapes and create a very wonderful uh, you know dashboard designing. And then next week, we'll be working on the reports, static reports, dynamic reports, so many things in that dashboard design what you have created. So tomorrow, or say in the next session, we'll work on the dashboard designing using all the skills what you have learned. Okay, all right. So let me ask, how was the session for people who are online? I'll just try to unmute. So people online, how was the session? It was great, sir. It was great. It was very informative, and very nice. Okay. People like take so much of efforts to collect all this information. I'm just asking one minute. How was it? At least one word, right? You can uh, message. I'm not telling you to put stories. I don't want stories. If you people like it, you know, I'll also feel that to get more and more contents like this. But people, you go and search in Google, go and search in uh, YouTube, these kind of things, elaborately known naturally teach. All these are my experience because I'm a graphic designer, I'm a programmer, and a dashboard designing expert. So I can tell you all these things. People, I'll tell you, once you start creating your dashboard, you know, tomorrow I'll show you how we can actually design. The designs, when I show you, you will feel that oh, it's so easy and so innovative and say, so creative. We can also do those kind of dashboards. You will forget all your other simple dashboards, whatever you are doing, not even like that. You'll try to create all the innovative uh, things. Okay. So one more thing, I, I don't know. Where is that? Yeah. There was one uh, thing, right? I think uh, it was there in the shapes. Sorry. Let me go to the shapes. Let me type that. Where is that page? I created one uh, thing for people. I don't know where I saved. I think it's in icons. Let me check that. Yeah. Right. See here. This is what you'll be learning, you know, in the next session. See? Can you see this? Layouts. See the shape? Okay. Now, if you just go here, 
see this shape see this is upright shape but if you see how does it look as if you know the shape is like this so this is separate this is separate okay so this is what i'll be teaching you in the next session the bone base okay and also how to create these kind of can you see that doesn't it look so good they will take this one and will put it inside the dashboard like this here we'll put it say you know all the summarized reports here looks very good so we'll do this kind of dashboards okay all right so people anything to tell people online Best. She's saying that she's a coder and she wants to, she's using all uh, TDS code to create one basic dashboard. Okay. I'll make it more simple and interesting. Don't worry. Okay. Right, people. See you guys tomorrow with more advanced way of creating uh, the dashboards in a simple way. Okay. Take care, all of you. See you guys tomorrow. And people, again, I'm telling you, these things are available in 365. Again and again, I'm telling you, if anybody wants to, Go for uh, 365, please inform us. We'll surely get you the license. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, people. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.